Hello, and welcome to another edition of whatever the heck we're calling this this week. <laughs> I'm Amy Mack, and you're not. Um, so this is airing on Sunday rather than on Monday. Uh, so I guess we're just going to call it um, Mared Sunday. Uh, so what's going on is I start work tomorrow. Um, and ordinarily I would set this to just auto load. Um, but I want to make sure it goes up tonight because I got a new phone last week. And I want to see how that works out. So if you're seeing this, I figured it out! <laughs> it doesn't have a mic jack, so I've got to figure out how to make that work. So thankfully right now things are kind of quiet. Um, of course, there go some cars now. I should be taping in my office, but it's a lovely day and I wanted to be outside. So, uh, let's... Uh, Oh, let's take care of the housekeeping first. I am smoking some Cornell and Deal bluegrass in this absolutely gorgeous custom cob made by Eric Mills. It it's the uh, diplomat shape. Uh, that is bamboo. That is ebonite, and of course I've got a little softy bit on it because that's that's how I roll. Um, but this is an absolutely wonderful uh, custom cob. Uh, if you're interested in Mr. Will, at Mr. Mel's Good Works, uh, there is a group on Facebook called uh, Corn Cob Nation. If you're not familiar with that, look it up. Uh, you can find him there. He does beautiful work. This is a great, uh, great pipe. Smokes wonderfully. Um... Thank you very much, sir. I will enjoy it in good health. So, um, a little more housekeeping, I guess. Uh, if you have a question for me, don't forget to drop it in the comments at hashtag AskThatPipeWoman. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, I'll even answer personal ones now since Max, or sorry, Gribs has given me so much grief about it. There you go. Now, if you get stupid, yeah, just delete it. Um, but I'm not trying to hide anything. <laughs> so, big things are afoot. I start the new job tomorrow. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, it has been an insane weekend. Um, just gearing up to get ready to go to work, and I like I did a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, not the least of which is I got this cool new pipe, and I got a. Uh, let me show it to you. A new tattoo. If you can't, mm, sorry. If you can't read that, in the heart it says "my dogs." Because <laughs> you know, somebody taught me a long time ago that when you get a tattoo, the worst thing you can do is put somebody's name in a heart. Because then things just, yeah. But you know what? I trust my dogs. It's a thing. So yeah, new ink. Really exciting. The other exciting thing that happened this weekend, so I got, like I said, I got this cool pipe, I got got new ink, and then I stopped by my brick and mortar today uh, to pick up some tobacco and some cigars, and not only did they have some St. James Flake in stock, which I snapped right up, along with my Oliva G cigars. This was in the used pipe cabinet. And this is one of the reproduction Peterson antique pipes. So don't get too excited. This is not an actual 1910 pipe, but it is a reproduction of a pipe shape that was made in 1910 by Peterson. Let me put it closer so you can get a better look at it. Focus. Still gotta learn this camera, y'all. Uh, but it is a gorgeous example of a bulldog. Um, I haven't even taken the sticker off of it yet, but it was a really good price. It came with this really cool case. I couldn't walk out without it. So that happened. 
So, uh, one of these days I will uh, show you the rest of my Peterson collection, but that is a uh, happy, happy addition to it. Have I mentioned how good this pipe smokes? It's wonderful. You know, I always forget how well cobs smoke until I pick one up and smoke it again. As for the cob coloring challenge, I have been completely remiss. Things are not going well in that department. Uh, nothing's coloring. <laughs> um, partially because I haven't had time to smoke them. Uh, so more to come on that. All right. Let me answer a couple of questions I got. There were a grand total of two. So like I said, if you've got questions for me, drop them in the comments box with the hashtag AskThatWoman. And I will be happy to answer your questions. Uh, the first question I got was from... Uh, Rick Spence regarding last week's video where I popped open a tin of Elizabethan with a check tool. He asks, did you open, <laughs> did you use the spoon from that check tool to open the tin? How well does that usually work? Um, you know, that is usually how I open my tins of tobacco is, is with the spoon of the check tool. And, uh, thus far it's worked every time. <laughs> I've either used that or I've used a quarter and yeah, that always works for me. So there you go. Uh, and last but not least, as I spew ash all over myself, my good friend Lori B. asked, um, do you have a recipe for a pork roast on the grill? I'm trying to find one, but you said you like to cook, so I took a shot. So, um, I have two answers to that, and the, the, I'll give you the short one first. Um... What I like to do is get a uh, pork tenderloin roast, you know, the real long one, uh, that you can get it to, uh, you can get about just about anywhere. They're not very expensive. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is wait for your dogs to quit barking. <laughs> uh, rub that bad boy down with some olive oil, cut some slits in it, and put as much garlic as you can stand inside it. And then coat it literally, literally, liberally with some sea salt. And then also in those uh, same slits that you put the uh, garlic in, stuff in some rosemary and thyme. Uh, so that will permeate the meat. Wrap it in foil uh, and just toss it straight into the flames. Uh, turn it a couple of times. Uh, I'd say once at 15 minutes and then maybe again in 5 or 10. Check it at 30 to see if it's done. Um, you know, standard, whatever the standard is for pork doneness, that makes a delicious pork roast. It's stupid easy. You can take it on camping trips. It's, it's divine. Now, the other pork roast I can tell you about, uh, is, um, Jody and I, uh, often smoke pork butts. Um, and the next time that we do that, um, I will take you guys along for the ride. I love smoked meat. Uh, I think next weekend we may even try to smoke some ribs. And again, if, uh, if that does come to fruition, uh, I will take you guys along for the ride for that. Uh, I kind of let the Amy Max, Mac Cooks channel go by the wayside, but that doesn't mean we, I can't occasionally drop some stuff in, smoke a pipe, and smoke a pork butt at the same time. So there you go. Um, that is all I have for this week, kids. Um, I hope you had a lovely weekend. I hope you have a lovely week. As always, keep them lit, but don't let them burn your ash. Take care.